What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody, your team leader for the Ecritique Entes, and welcome to the MLPB Season 2, week number 8, the final week of the MLPB, where I'll be facing off against the Cat's Meow and the Medicine Meows. So, in this week's uh, pack battle, we have three packs. We've got Dragons Exalted, Boundaries Cross, and Plasma Blast. So, we've got like a mixed week, which also means that we're going to have a mixed competitive pool too. So, this week's a little bit a little bit of a fun week. I'm out of contention for the playoffs. I haven't had the luck that I've needed, uh, well, that I needed from week one to make my way into the playoffs. But, um, uh, the best of luck to the guys that have made it into that I think it's Andrew or 8-Bit 8-Bit Bok um, made it from my division I guess you could say <clears throat> but yeah this week we've got Dragon Exalted Boundaries Cross and Plasma Blast which means my three competitive picks have been written on the back of the pack bag we have Charizard it's a regular rare from Boundaries Cross it's number 20 out of 149 we've got Phoebus which is a common from Dragon's Exalted uh, number 27 out of 124. I have flashes on screen of all these for you guys as well, so you guys can see what we're aiming to get today. Just for that extra uh, one or two, or even three points for the rares. And then we've got a Hollow Marchamp, 49 out of 101 from Plasma Blast. So I chose the Marchamp purely because of art. I love the I love the art on that one. Charizard being the fan fave, Charizard and Phoebus just for being Phoebus. So with all that said and done, let's get into these packs and see what we can get today. So it's all for fun. Best of luck to the Cat's Meowth. I hope she gets some goodies today as well. Um, and be sure to go check out her side of the battle by clicking the link in the top of the description um, after you've watched my video so um, you guys can compare polls and see who, see who won today's battle. But yeah, so we've got a Giratina pack art from Dragons Exalted. We've got the uh, Landorus art, I believe that one is. The Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Yeah, Landorus for sure, Orange. Uh, <laughs> from Boundaries Cross, I had to think about that for a sec. And we've got the Porygon Z pack art from Plasma Blast. So I'm going to go from Plasma Blast through to Dragon's Exalted, because I have the highest hopes to get a pull out of Dragon's Exalted today. Because everything that I pulled today is pretty much just a bonus. It's all just a bonus. And these are some older packs some older goodies so I'm, I'm hyped to uh, get into today's opening I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the experience of the MLPB season 2 with me and I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and supporting me on a weekly basis to all my MLPB pack battles I really appreciate it and I hope this week we can end it on a high note to celebrate the MLPB coming to a close but we've got a rare candy and Archeops. That one is a reverse rare. I believe that one is a hollow in the set too. So that's a pretty solid pull. That's one point on the board. And a UC regular rare. God dang it. God dang it. So we couldn't end it on a high note on the first pack, but that is okay. That is a okay. But we've got UC with 60 HP with Psy Power. That is so weak for a legendary 60 HP. See you later. One hit KO. But we got boundaries crossed, and I believe like all these boundaries cross packs are always really loosely packed. I don't know what it is about them, even in the tins that I get. But yeah, let's crack into this one. Okay, that was really easy to open, and see what we can get. So in boundaries cross, we're hoping to get a regular rare Charizard. So first and best stress for that code. Hope you guys get something nice from that one. I think if I pulled any EX from boundaries crossed. The one that I'd hope to get the most would probably be a Celebi EX, just a basic Celebi EX. So if we could get something like that, that would be pretty solid. But we've got a Spoink, Charmander, that's a good start, definitely a good start. We've got Snivy, Skarmory, a Duat, a Wobbuffet, shout out to Tony Daddy. Psyduck, shout out to Jeff from the Poke Capital. Not even bad. I bet this is his competitive pick for Bandage Cross, I guarantee you. But yeah, that one's just too common. And the rare in the pack is a Keldeo regular rare. Okay, so there is a Keldeo EX and Full Art in the set as well. So that's an interesting pull. 
It's got 90 HP with Rising Lunge and Hydro Kick. So not bad. Not bad, but it wasn't our regular rare Charizard. Okay, so the final pack of this MLPB pack battle against the Cat's Meowth. We have Dragons Exalted. And I've actually had some pretty good luck with Dragons Exalted, so I'm, I'm positive, keeping the positivity. And we're going to hope to get something good out of this pack today. So there is the final code of this opening today. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so we have a Golet. So we're hoping for a Feebas in the, in the commons. We've got an Electric. A Dino. Baltoy, final chance for a Feebas. No, we got a Bidoof. Ah, uh, the next choice, the Bidoof God. But that is okay. We got a Wowma. Stun Fist, the Almighty Pancake. A Gabite. A reverse rare wall rain, so that's a second point on the board, not even bad. So that one has a raw beam and ent entomb. Yeah, entomb. And a hydragon hollow, not even bad. So that's another two points on the board. But yeah, if you guys, um, I forgot to mention, but the uh, point system is in the description of the video for, for you guys wondering where I'm getting all these points from. They're um, all in the description of the video, you check it out, you should be able to um, make sense of um, how it's explained in there. But yeah, as, as you guys can see just there, it's, um, it is in fact a Hollow High Dragon, so not even bad. So it's got 150 HP with the ability Dark Trance and Dragon Blast. Definitely love that art. It is pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so it is t that time where we recap the final week. It's a, it's almost sad to be recapping this. We didn't we didn't get the greatest of falls, but we did manage to get something. So that is that is always a positive thing. So we got 1.4 a War Rain Reverse Rare, one point for this Archaeops, and then we got two points for this Hydragon, which gives us a grand total of four points for the final week of the MLPB, so I think that's probably like the highest or if not second highest amount of points that I've got in the MLPB all season, so that's pretty bad, but at the same time, I guess, I, I can't complain because we did get High Dragon and High Dragon is one of my favorite Pokemon. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that um, High Dragon art. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on the video um, and make sure you go check out the Cat's Meow side of the uh, pack battle. I'll leave a link on screen for you guys to click now and it'll also be in the top of the description for you guys to go check out her side of the battle and let me know in the comments who won. I'd like to know who won this final week. Even though it doesn't matter, it's still it's still nice to see that you guys are um, showing your support by checking out both um, both sides of the battle. But yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed today's opening, and I'll see you guys in my next opening. And I'd hope to see you guys in the next um, next season of the MLPB. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.